Here's a question for you. Is God on our side? It's a question we've all no doubt asked ourselves throughout our lives, including my next guest, Richard Thompson. Richard has written a book appropriately titled, Is God on Our Side? An autobiography of sorts where he asked himself this pretty tough question through many life challenges. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. You know, when I first saw your book, and of course, when I surf first saw the question, is God on our side? Even before opening it, I said, all right, what's the answer? Absolute positive yes. And why? Because he has been so good to me. And secondly, I can be on God's side, then he's going to be on my side. Interesting. And that is the secret that I feel is so important and I want to get across. Let's talk about you. You come from a, a religious background, correct? That is correct. At least I feel it is. And again, I came, uh, you know, during a time of the Depression. I lost my father for years because he had to go search for a job in Chicago. We lived in Omaha. But in short order, we were back together. I was not a good student, however, because they took me out of the one school and put me into a parochial school, which is a Lutheran school through grade school and also through high school. And my whole ambition was to become a minister really? to work in the church. But that was interrupted. And that's, you know, I look back, I think it's part of God's doing again. And what are some of the challenges, Richard, that made you ask, is God on my side? Well, as a teenager, you know, you're infallible. Uh, you're immortal, actually. Nothing's going to affect your life. But all of a sudden, I enlisted in the army. Why? Because the war was going on. And during that time, they taught me how to fly. And I became the first pilot on a B-24, had my crew, and the war ended in Europe. So all of a sudden, they put me in training in the B-29, the Super Fortress the largest plane made at that particular time, 8,800 horsepower, wow. But here's a 19-year-old kid flying this big aircraft. It's unbelievable to even to myself at this time. And I'm glad you brought up the war because what I found striking when you write about the war, you say there you were training to drop, and I'm quoting, destruction on human beings. There were God-fearing persons on both sides. Pretty difficult question for a 19-year-old. <laughs> that it was, particularly to a Christian, because I knew it was dropping on people that were, you know, not deserving of the destruction. But yet discipline was taught to me the first thing in service and a necessity. So I accepted it, right or wrong, and I had to do it. Now, I must tell our viewers about your wife, and you write so much about her. Mm. You're going on 59 years of marriage. 59. <laughs> First of all, congratulations, and I'm Thank going you. on 10, so, you know, <laughs> very little compared to you. What is the secret to success in marriage, Richard? The secret is communication. Uh. Open communication, willingness to say everything, to make a part, each of us, of what we're doing and what we're progressing to do and planning. So we had a wonderful time. As we were getting ready for our marriage and had counseling of our pastor, he gave us one secret that is so important. Every night, Neil, the two of you hold hands, the three of you together. I said, three? Yes, you, your wife, and God and pray together, ask for guidance, forgiveness, forgiveness between the two of you two as well. So that is the secret that I want to get across in my book. Great advice. We could talk here for hours, Richard. Oh, quickly, one last question. For someone who would be interested in reading your book, Is God on Our Side, what's, what's the takeaway? What do you want them to remember? I want them to remember the simple fact that for God to be on your side, you have to be on their side. And the best way of doing that is to communicate with God. You and yours together communicate with God on a daily basis. That's the secret. And that's what I want to get across to everyone. It has been such a pleasure Thank having you. Thank you, It's been a pleasure to be here. You are an inspiration, and your life has been one, too. Thank you, Richard, so Thank much. You. Good luck with the book. Thank you.
And if you'd like to read the book, again, it's called Is God on Our Side? And for more information on the book, please visit the website. It's outskirtspress.com forward slash is God on our side.